you up that stairwells need to be sprinkled if people are trying to get out they don't want those stairs melting so if there's a fire people use that for storage a lot of times so we need to put some fire sprinklers in there so easy money well nothing's easy you know that we shut off the fire sprinkler riser there's the main we're gonna drill in a saddle and run some sprinklers right down that, into that hole. How about that? All right. Let's put some fire sprinklers in. Let's get to work, shall we? system sounds like when you're filling it and you know the rule fill it up slow so we're not just filling all that up we're filling all this up So there is, I think, two, three systems in this garage, but we're only filling up one third. You see how I did the math? One third. So anyway, the reason I didn't film the bottom half is because that's all crawling around. I had to add a little coupling there and a little raise up piece, as we call it a riser nipple. But that's what that looks like. And, uh, 
They turn that water all the way in and go install another one. We got two to do today. Two in one day. I wonder if they get a two for one sale. I don't know about that. But today they'll get two stairs for the price of one fitter. Sounds like a pretty good deal to me, don't you think? Well, as always, I want to thank you for coming along with me on these stair fire sprinkler adding adventures. Anyway, you know the drill. Peace, love, and all that hippie jazz. Bye bye, everybody. Postscript. This was, I said they get a two for one, so this is the other stairwell that needed to be sprinkled. Like I said, when you have these stairs, you need fire sprinklers underneath them. So what I did on this one, well, let me explain it to you. I took off the plug there, and I added an O290. And out of O290, I added this two foot six. That could be 210, I could be lying to you. And out of that 210, I put this side beam bracket hanger, and I ran down, and I put this O4 nipple with the head guard. This head is a green bowl, so that would make it a 212 degree style. I could be a long degree, degree or two, but it's usually over 200 degrees. And then down here, you have your other fire sprinkler. And a good sprinkler fitter will always put an auxiliary drain valve. Even though there's not a lot of water to be had, want to not make a mess when you can and that valve will solve that problem so there you go they got two for one one I had to drill a mechanical T but this one was easy money if there is such a thing as easy money well as always I want to thank you for coming along with me on these little adventures you know the drill peace love and all that if you get that